welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pack with me for New York City video. If you didn't know, I'm going to be interning in New York City this summer. I'm really excited. I interned there last summer. I have a bunch of videos there from a day in my life to a dorm tour to an office of the week. So if you wanted to see kind of what I was up to last summer, that's a great resource. And I'm going to have a ton of videos similar to that this summer showing you where I'm living, which I'm living in NYU this summer, which I'm so excited about. It's going to be awesome. I'm living in a studio apartment there. So I'll talk a little bit about what NYU has at their dorm so what I need to bring versus what's already there and just kind of give you the whole rundown so if you're ever a summer intern in New York NYU is definitely the place to live but I just thought this video would be helpful for anyone who might be interning one summer of college just to kind of get an idea of what are the things to pack or if you're just curious I love watching these videos so I thought it'd be fun so these are the suitcases that I'm bringing I might have to bring one more but I'm not quite sure yet I think I will just to have to put like um, light ring and my camera in there this is my main suitcase that I'm bringing it's just a black 30 inch from Bricks. I'm gonna start working on packing this up with some stuff. And then I also have um, a carry-on size that I'll put stuff into. So I just kind of wanted to say that I'm kind of showing you what to pack, not exactly how to pack. I know a lot of people show in their videos like they're packing cubes and exactly how they're packing, but if we're being honest, for me, I have so much stuff I have to bring this summer, just extra. Like, I just require a lot of things. I'm just showing you a few of like the things that I'm bringing just because I thought it'd be fun. When it comes to like actually packing, it's low-key the biggest struggle ever. I'm not the best at it, so I don't want to like give you advice on how to pack because I'm honestly like kind of an amateur with it. I just kind of like put everything in how it makes sense to me so just pack how it makes sense to you but I'm definitely going to be using like my big suitcase my travel carry-on suitcase probably one more for me and then my mom's coming with me which is really nice I'm really happy that she's coming and helping me move in she um, will have her suitcase so if I have like any like really extra things I need to bring then I can always use her suitcase for a little bit of extra storage as well because she'll just be there for like a weekend so she'll bring a really big suitcase which is like filling it halfway with weekend stuff so then I can use the other half so yeah I think that's like mainly what I wanted to say I actually have a cousin in New York who is so gracious in letting me ship some boxes to her apartment so I'm gonna be able to kind of send my bedding and stuff ahead of time it's a lot easier to go ahead and get up there so that I don't have to pack it in my suitcase that'll be awesome so I'm gonna show you all what I'm sending in the boxes first and then we'll get on to like my suitcase so the first thing I'm shipping is comforters so I'm just using my quilt comforter from sophomore year of college if you didn't know by the way I'm a rising junior I attend the University of Georgia so I used this quilt in my dorm this past year I'm excited I'm just gonna bring this and read use it on my twin bed at NYU. I'm actually living in a double studio apartment, but it's just gonna be me in there. So I actually have two beds. So I have two of these that I'm sending. My roommate was actually really nice and let me take her quilt. So I have two matching ones just like this. Those will go on my twin beds in my apartment. And then to go along with that, I'm also shipping a few pillows. Be nice to have my own pillow from home in New York. And that is going in the box as well. So again, more stuff for the bed. I am shipping some sheets. I have two sets of sheets um, that I've already had here at home just from my dorm life so these are twin XL and I have two sets like I said for my twin beds okay last thing for the bed I promise I have these two just like cream colored blankets so I'll have one for each bed the reason also that I'm like going all out and like bringing a like matching quilt and a blanket for my twin bed is that I'm having a few friends come on weekends and I'm gonna be filming videos there and I just want to just look nice I mean because I can ship stuff I, I thought might as well so these are just two blankets for each of the beds another essential for the summer that I'm shipping are towels so I just have three gray towels these are from Ikea I've shown them in lots of videos before but they actually have loops on them so that you can hang them up really easily and then I have a gray towel wrap which is from Target just that velcros and then I have a washcloth I'm probably gonna get a loofah too but I'm gonna wait and get that once I get there next thing I'm bringing is this rug I actually already had this at home it's never been in a dorm I don't know where it came from honestly but we had it at home so I thought it would be a good thing to bring just to have a rug I found last year it was nice to have bath mats and rugs in your room it just makes it more homey and then of course another dorm essential is power strips so I'm bringing this one I think it's from Bed Bath & Beyond but it's really nice because it can like go around the foot of like a table or just like it's very flexible which I like this is for sure an essential I have lots of things I have to plug in and charge and all that good stuff so this will be being shipped as well so the things I'm shipping are definitely all things that you could pick up in New York if you live like really far away or have nowhere to ship things to so you could definitely go to Bed Bath & Beyond to get like any of this stuff once you get there but like I said I'm just lucky and I have a place to ship some stuff so I thought might as well I already have this stuff it makes sense 
So in my room, I have this little clothes rack that I got from TJ Maxx. It's like literally the best thing ever, especially if you're planning out outfits for trips and stuff. So I'm obviously using it to plan out some stuff for New York. So I just want to show you some of the outfits that I might be bringing before I pack them up, just because like you're not gonna really be able to see them in my suitcase. Um, I'm just gonna kind of like fold them up in there and throw them in. What to pack is more what I want to know when I watch these videos. So. Yeah, I'm gonna show you some of my outfits that I'm excited about. So I got all of these like dress pants last summer. These ones are from Banana Republic and then the rest are from Ann Taylor. I'm taking them again just because of my internship. I think my internship is pretty casual dress, but I wanna have them with me just in case. Over here I have a few like dresses and rompers and stuff. In the city in the summer, it's really nice to have dresses and lightweight stuff. So um, I'm really excited about this dress. Actually, I forgot I had it and I found it and I was like, this is so cute, we're, we're, like what? Do you ever like find stuff like that? It's the best feeling ever. Um, you all have seen this yellow dress a ton, but I love this. It's so just like light and perfect for summer. Um, just like a nicer black dress in case I have an event for the agency. I'm working at a PR agency, if you didn't know. I'm a PR major, so if I have like an event I need to go to, like a PR event, then have this, which would be nice. This is like a jumper. That's really cool. And I'm really excited about this dress. It'll just be like really nice and light. Um, and I love the colors. And this is from Anthropology. And then I just have a few tops and stuff too. A lot of just lightweight stuff is really important. So a lot of tanks, just light, flowy stuff. I love this shirt from Anthropology. Super cute. If you can't tell, I've been loving yellow. So this one, really cute, nice for work. This top is really cool. It's from Anthropology. Love the yellow again. And then just in like collared shirts and stuff for work. Um, so yeah, and then I have my jewelry thing that'll get packed too. So that just like hangs and holds a lot of my jewelry. Those are a few of the like fun and work clothes I'll be bringing. Something else I would recommend bringing is this. It's Febreze to go. It's like random essential I wanted to mention. Especially in the summers when you just like sweat more and things are smelly. Um, obviously like I don't use this on things that need to be like cleaned, but if something just needs a little freshening up, this is a really good thing to have just to spray all over your clothes. So obviously every intern needs some really cute shoes. So this is one pair that I'm bringing. There's some loafers and they're really comfortable, but also really cute. Another pair that I have that I love for interning is these are from OCBT and they're really, really comfortable. They're great for like walking around. They're actually so comfortable. One pair that I got recently that I'm super excited to bring are these. They're these like platform slip on sandal kind of things and they have this rose gold strap. These are super cool. They have like a knot and I just think they're really fun and I can't wait to wear them. So I just have two more pairs just to show you like the variety of shoes that I like to bring. So these are some platform sneaker kind of things that I got they're really cute and like metallic which is really in and they're gonna be so comfortable for walking around the main thing that you want to have especially if you're gonna live in a big city are comfortable shoes because you walk everywhere so again comfort is key so I love my Puma baskets they're just some white sneakers that I have they go with absolutely everything and are super comfy so I'll definitely get some use out of these this summer okay I'll be bringing two purses with me to New York this summer these are my two favorites to bring to the city so this is my work bag and it fits like everything and this is a Rebecca Minkoff Reagan satchel this is perfect for that and it has a long strap too so love this and then the other bag that I like to bring to New York is this little backpack it's the cutest and just the best thing so I use this whenever I go out and I'm not going to work so if I'm going to just like adventure after work or do any kind of like fun things on the weekend this is what I take it really fits everything you need um, it's pretty small but it holds a lot and I love the back because this strap actually zips so you can wear it like this like cross body or you can unzip that and wear it like a backpack which is what I usually like to do I got this from just a local bag like leather store but I'm sure you can find something similar online so a few things that I'm going to pick up when I get to New York are cleaning supplies definitely it'll just be nice to be able to clean my apartment throughout the summer so last summer I got a Swiffer which was really nice it's really easy to use and just helps keep the apartment slash dorm feeling really clean. So I'm definitely gonna get some cleaning supplies. Another thing I'm gonna get is some plastic cutlery, some paper plates, some paper towels, stuff like that. I do have a little kitchen in my apartment, which is really, really nice, but it doesn't come with like pots and pans and silverware and stuff like that, obviously. But I don't really wanna like bring my own hard silverware or plates or anything, so I'll definitely just pick up some paper plates and plastic. Um, forks and knives and stuff when I get to New York. I know that's not the best thing for the environment, but it's probably a little more cost-friendly. 
so I know it's kind of like not the best but if I see that I want to do some more cooking in my kitchen I might go get like a pan or a pot or something um, but those would be really easy to pick up once I get there so I'm just gonna see if I end up needing that I probably won't get that right away but if I decide I want it I'm gonna go get that as well another thing that I will be picking up once I get to New York are detergent pods for my laundry and dryer sheets there are um, washers and dryers in all the NYU dorms so it's definitely something I'm gonna want to get so that I can do my laundry but I figured I might as well just pick those up again once I get there and also I might get a lamp if I decide that I want one again I can get one we'll just see about that I'm really lucky because NYU actually provides toilet paper which is really nice so I'm not gonna have to get any of that when I get there and they also have a shower curtain already on the shower so that'll be really nice so like I said I'm just bringing my bath mat and towels and stuff like that for the bathroom and then a few other just like miscellaneous things that I'm gonna want to get once I get to New York are like a makeup mirror hangers a laundry bag and also trash bags one thing I'll be packing are some photos I had these taped up on my wall this past year they're from social print studio I really like them and they're really thin and easy to pack it makes it feel really homey just to have pictures and it's a really easy thing to bring but really livens up the dorm so I'm gonna take some of these. Another thing that I am going to bring are some string lights. My roommate actually brought some. We didn't like talk to each other about that so we ended up using hers. So I actually still have these so I'm gonna bring them. They're like gold firefly lights from TJ Maxx with little clips. So I'll probably just clip up my pictures on here and that way there's like another source of light so if I want to turn off my overhead lights and just have these on that would be really nice. Another thing that's great for the shower is something like this. I got this on Amazon. I don't know what this stain is. I think it's just like shampoo. I used this last summer and it was really helpful so you can just tuck this in and zip it and carry it like this. It honestly kind of looks like a lunchbox. But there's like a lot of different zippers and pouches and stuff. And you can hang it, which is really nice. In here I just have a little shower cap. But you can put like all of your products like your razor, your shampoo and conditioner, and body wash, all that in here. And it's really nice, especially if you have roommates to like be able to have all your stuff in one little caddy. This was awesome to have last summer and again I got that on Amazon. Okay next thing I'm bringing to New York is my rather large makeup travel case. I love this thing. I brought it last summer and it worked really well. I got it on Amazon so if you're looking for something like this definitely go there. But it's just this like kind of massive case. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with makeup so there's like compartments and then there's a thing here for your brushes so that's really nice. This will definitely be coming with me in my suitcase. So also I got some underwear from Victoria's Secret. That's always an essential for me. I like to just get some fresh undies before I go on a trip. Also, you don't have to do laundry as often, which is good for me because I'm always really lazy and take forever to do laundry. I have a few things packed in my suitcase now, so I'll show you that. So again, I'm not really going to tell you how to pack because I feel like everyone just has a way that works well for them. This is a few other things that I'm bringing that I haven't shown you yet. So I just have a few pairs of Nike shorts here. I love these, especially for summer to keep cool. I don't really wear them out, but I wear them to sleep and to work out. And I'm really excited because the um, dorm that I'm living in at NYU has a gym, so that'll be great and I can wear these when I'm working out. And then I also just have some shirts. I like to roll my shirts I have just like a variety of shirts from like UGA shirts to like graphic tees and stuff like that and then also have like shorts over here and skirts and denim I have a video that I did last summer called what's in my carry-on so I'm gonna pack that pretty similarly I don't want to like bore you with that but if you're curious about that I'll link that video down below I usually just use my backpack as my main carry-on and I put my purse in there so I'll use my backpack and the carry-on suitcase back there as my two carry-ons so that's usually what I do but I just get like, laptop headphones all your basic stuff in there chargers camera you know the basics so obviously I'll pack up my toiletries and stuff too I have like um, a dop kit for that with like my toothbrush toothpaste hairbrush deodorant all that stuff I'm still a few days out from my trip so I don't want to pack those up quite yet just because I still need to use them so I'll put those in the night before you can go to Bed Bath & Beyond when you get there and get literally anything that you forgot like I said we'll probably end up taking the subway up to Bed Bath & Beyond when we get there after we kind of unpack the initial the initial round of unpacking Another thing I want to check out when I get to my dorm is just see if there's a trash can there I know that there's a smaller one in the bathroom But I think I'll probably want like a larger one for the kitchen Also, I got a mirror last summer a full-length mirror, which was really nice to have So that's just stuff that you don't want to pack like you'll, you'll literally just have to buy that there But like I said, it's really easy to get to bed bath and beyond and it's a good way to start learning the subway And usually at the end of the summer There's a way to donate all of your stuff that you don't want to bring back home I guess the main thing you want to bring to New York would be your like figured out attitude because a lot of it is just trash and error and it's gonna be a lot of fun so go with the flow definitely try to meet a lot of people when you move in because especially if you're there by yourself you're gonna want to have people to go do stuff with and if you see me possibly um, at NYU this summer definitely say hi or in New York I love meeting you guys so and I would love to be friends if you're living at NYU you can 
do stuff. Maybe go get ice cream at Soft Swerve or a frozen s'more at Dominique Ansel. Um, but anyways, I just love New York. I'm so excited for this summer. All right, that's gonna be it for my pack with me for New York City video. I can't wait to get there and get moved in and everything. I'll definitely be doing a move-in vlog, so stay tuned for that. I'm just super excited. NYU is gonna be the perfect place to live, and I'm my internship is a really great fit for me, so it's just gonna be a great summer. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment letting me know any video request you have for me because I always want to know what you guys want to see. And yeah, I think that's it. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and following me on Instagram because I would love to have you on there. It's a great way to keep up with me outside of YouTube. And I think that's it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone. Thank you.